turning out to share their memories over one final meal. WMTW News' Jim Keithley joins us live from there tonight. Jim. Well, good evening. This place has really become an institution, an iconic restaurant over the years. Tonight, we talked to some regulars who shared their memories about what makes this place so special. And it turns out it has a lot more to do than just the food. The hustle and bustle of a popular restaurant, but today, regulars of Cole Farms and Gray are feeling nostalgic. So many memories served up with the meals over the last 68 years. My earliest recollection of going out to eat at all in any kind of a restaurant was here at Cole Farms. Most everybody here today had to come one last time. Sitting at one of the original tables from 1952, Sandra Simmons meeting an old friend today, but she's thinking about her 84-year-old father who enjoyed the food. He since passed away. And instead of me driving all the way to Bethel, I would say, Dad, meet me at Cole Farms. So he would drive down from Bethel, and I would drive over from Yarmouth, and we would meet here, and he always got the um, scallops. Alfred Greer has been coming to Cole Farms for 60 years since he was 18 years old. It's just like a second home to me where I lost my wife. I don't like to cook. So I come here and the food has always been great. They've always been good to me and it brings back a lot of memories. So we're sitting here with Diane Benjamin. You've been coming to Cole Farms for how long? 40 years. 40 years? Yes. You must like the food. I love this place too much. <laughs> so this closing down must be really sad for you. Yeah, it is. <laughs> In fact, I'll be back for supper tonight. The staff is taking the closure pretty hard, too. Matthew Fogg started cooking here when he was a teenager. Huge part of my social life, whether I'm on the clock or off the clock, so definitely you're going to miss that. An emotional day for P.J. Selberg, too, who's been a server at Coles for three years. The last couple of days have been really rough, yeah, I'm having to say goodbye to him. Nothing lasts forever. It'd be nice if it did. And so there you see it, a final meal and a final goodbye. But what will become of the property? The owner says he hopes someone will step up with some fresh ideas and buy the place. But for tonight, it's all about savoring those memories and, of course, the food. We're live in Gray, Jim Keithley, WMTW News 8.